party time, yeah, it's party time. Grab a pallet and a brush and just flow with your mind. We gon' bring this look together one swatch at a time. One swatch at a time, yeah, it's party time. Hey y'all, I'm Pretty Party and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be unbagging the Ipsy Glam Bag. This is a $10 a month subscription, but according to my email, this will go up to more dollars. So I'm on the fence if I'm going to be still subscribed to this or not, but we're going to find out if it's worth it today. I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. And it should be a card inside that gives me detail about each product inside. And uh, so I'll, I'll make sure I give you all the information on those products. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside of it. But they do send you, they do send you an email if you want to have a sneak peek of what's inside and all of that. So here's the bag, which is really cute. It's uh, it looks like it's an outer space thing. I think that's super cute. And it's also something in the bag as well. I always check your bag if you do get Etsy Plus because sometimes they put products in the bag that can't fit get into the makeup bag that they give you. So this is, the pro this is the first product that I see already, but we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and we're gonna take the card out of the makeup bag and I'm going to talk to you about the information on the card. It says, Ipsy, your glam bag has just got better. Starting with your October glam bag, enjoy these new features. So they're saying that you can, you can choose your own product every month, so that's good. We didn't have that option at first. So it says, beginning September 24th, you'll be able to choose one of your five glam bag products. You do get five products in your glam bag. Then we'll build the rest of your bag to complement your choice. Save the day. So that's a very good feature. So if you do want to pay the extra $2, just know that you will be able to choose at least one of your products in your Ipsy Glam bag. I did get that option yesterday and I did choose something for my own uh, Ipsy Glam bag for next month. But still, I still have the option to skip a month or I can just go ahead and cancel it all together. But it, it, it's nice to have the option that, to skip a month just in case you are unsure if you want to pay for it next month or not. So there is an option for you guys. You can skip a month or you can get a bag for every other month. So that's a good option for you all. So the theme of this month's bag is find your light. It says September is all about new paths and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a bold new lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within, take a moment to rediscover your guiding North Star where will it lead you discover yourself so that's cute this is the card and also it has information on your product on the inside of the card as well so since this is the first product we took out this is the murad hydrodynamic ultimate moisture so i think I'm thinking this is like a hand lotion or something. So let's get more information on that. It says this rich yet lightweight skin saver is infused with shea butter, sunflower seed oil, coconut fruit extract, and avocado oil to instantly moisturize, reduce the appearance of fine lines, and improve your skin texture. Advanced hyaluronic acid technology keeps your skin glowing and smooth for a full 24 hours. So that is nice. I can't wait to try that out. So stay tuned for the try on portion. I, since I do have my foundation on already, I'll just put it on my hands and we'll see how really moisturizing it is or if it has a smell to it or whatever. So let's go into the bag now. Do you guys see? It has a little crystal on the bag. It's so cute. I love the color of it. So we're just gonna grab something random from the inside of here. Everything
everything is wrapped up, so that's difficult for me. Oh, wow. Okay. You guys, we have something from Ofra. Ofra is a phenomenal brand. Their highlighters are so good on the skin. And now I have a blush from them. It's so pretty. This is the Ofra X Madison Miller blush. So that is so cute. It says, limited edition collab between beauty guru Ofra and beauty lifestyle blogger Madison Miller gives us highly pigmented shadows, glosses, blushes, and beyond. Ooh, so that's good. So you guys should check into that. This dusty paint nude blush can be worn dry or wet to intensify. Dry or wet? Wet? A wet blush? Okay. And as an eyeshadow. Okay, so yeah, you can use blush as an eyeshadow if you wanted to. So that is nice. This is called the Sweet Stuff Blush. And it's very pretty. I guess I'll go ahead and give you all a swatch. So I'll give you guys a swatch of this blush. Since even though I'm going to put it on my face anyway. And it's very creamy. And it's very pigmented. So pretty. I'm going to swatch on the back of my hand here. So it doesn't swatch the best. Well, it's just a blush. So you don't want your blush to be too intense, but I think that's a very pretty color. Okay, we're pulling something else out of the bag. It's a matte liquid lipstick, and this is from Le Butte Patel. And it says this formula is cruelty free and hypoallergenic. This creamy, lightweight liquid lip formula coats your lips in full coverage color that lasts all day. And we're loving the matte mauve shade, which looks fabs on all skin tones. So, so let's see for my What is, is this supposed to go on the lips? This is a whole eyeshadow brush, like. Okay, it says twist bottom until formula comes out, so. Oh, do you guys see that? Isn't that odd? I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. You guys, that is very unique. Okay, we're gonna see how this looks on the lips. Um, this is kind of weird, right? And it's also a little messy too. Okay, and then and a lot of product came out of it. So, oof. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna see how this works on the lips. Okay. Let's see what's next in the bag. Oh, you guys, this is a, a single eyeshadow. This is the Beauty Crop Eyeshadow in Serum. It says, the, the folks behind the Beauty Crop create simple, effective, high-performing products inspired by healthy living, utilizing plant-based ingredients, and natural oils in everything they make. It says, this metallic plum shadow is buttery smooth, richly pigmented. Okay, we're going to hold them at that. And perfect for fall. Let's open it up. Let me show you guys the color of it. So this is the packaging. This is what it looks like on the inside. It is very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, okay. Gonna put it right here. Okay, it's decent. I'm gonna go over it a second time to give it a fair chance. Yeah, it's a decent shade. Okay, you guys, last but not least, we have the uh, Obsidian 
and this is an eyeliner so that's good we need an eyeliner for this look this is a really good size eyeliner so i'm guessing this is a full size we got like a couple of full size products this quick drying waterproof smudge proof formula features in ultra precise okay synthetic felt tip that dispenses just the right amount of pigment so applications are totally fuss free okay we're gonna see about that um i'll be using my left hand for this eyeliner so hopefully it's as precise as it says it is okay guys that is all the products we're gonna go ahead and do a try on portion and we're gonna see how these products really work as we're going to take out this moisturizer and it's super tiny of course it has no smell I don't really like moisturizers that don't have a smell oh wow this moisturizer like feels really hydrating and really smooth so i'm liking that so far so i'm gonna have to put this on my face when i'm not wearing makeup because on my arm it feels really hydrating and it doesn't feel oily or greasy or anything it's sunk right into my skin so i think this is really nice okay guys now it's time for the makeup products since my face is already done, I just have contour on. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some blush. I'm taking the Morphe M450 brush and going into this. Ooh, you guys see the pigment in there? Let's take a mirror. Hmm. This blush is pretty subtle. It doesn't really show up as pigmented as it said it would. So I'm gonna go back into the blush and see can we build it up. Mmm, okay. Looks like we can build it up. And this blush is not too much, it's not too pigmented. You got the it's got the right amount of pigment to it and it's a beautiful shade i really like it it's really pretty and i see there's mostly eye products here which i like i like to do a lot of eyeshadow looks and stuff anyway so we're gonna go ahead and prime my lids with mac paint pod and shade soft okra and we're gonna go ahead and try out this single eyeshadow okay lids are primed now since this shade is a shimmer shade we're gonna go ahead and put down a shadow to complement it so i have another single shadow and this is from one of the months of itsy as well this is a moots shadow by laura sanchez and this is one of her brown shades and we're gonna basically put this all in the crease this is a really nice shade to have as well. I love chocolate browns. Now we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. I'm gonna use the Hank and Henry Nicole brush. This is a flat padding brush. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Let's see how it picks up on the brush. Okay, I really dug in there. And just to give the shimmer a fair chance, I'm gonna spray with my Morphe Mist setting spray. I'm gonna put it all over the lid. Okay, even with this being sprayed, it still isn't as blinding or there's nothing really special about this shadow. And I dug in it some more. See, that's a lot. I see the more you dig into it, the better, but it did get chunky. 
I'm going to try to smooth it out with my finger. Yeah, it's just an okay eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and take this blush and I'm, I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line because it says this can also be used as an eyeshadow. So we're gonna test that theory. This is how it picks up on the eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to pat it underneath my lower lash line. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with this. It's Kaleido eyeliner. And it's a felt tip. Felt tips are okay. I don't really have too many complaints about felt tips. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I don't mind it. I'm gonna get up kind of close so you guys can see what I'm doing. I would say it's pretty precise. And it looks pretty good for me to be using my left hand, so that's good. Okay. Okay, it's not the best. It's not the best eyeliner application in the world, but that's just me. But I feel like this is a pretty good felt tip liner. Like, it's jet black. It looks really good. It's pigmented. I like it. Okay, hey guys, I went ahead and put on mascara because this month's Ipsy did not come with some mascara. So I went ahead and used the Superhero It Mascara. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the lips. We're going to use this very weird lipstick product right here by Le Beauty Patel. But we're going to go ahead and line the lips first. I'm going to go ahead and use this Jante Blue Lip Liner. Okay, guys, the lips are lined. And again, I use the Jante Blue Lip Liner in the shade 944 Plum. Okay, it's time. We're going to see how this works on the lips. So, the product is still outside looks very messy the applicator looks different but we're going to give you a close-up view of what's going on okay i don't love this applicator i think it's very messy and i think i already lost the top to it Okay, I found it. Um, I don't know if I love this product. Like I say, it's messy. This is the, the cap that it comes in. The product is already outside of it. And you have to twist this like a thousand times just to get the product out. So, I'm not a big fan of this at all. I don't even know if I'm going to use this again. Probably not because I already have comfortable lip colors in this shade i feel like this is a little drying on the lips a little cakey on the lips and i rub my lips together and everything i don't really like it all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a lip gloss on top of it i'm gonna use my appeal lip gloss okay now now with the gloss on top i feel like it looks and feels a lot better so you guys, that's the lip. Now I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on this on this Ipsy Glam bag. Okay, the bag itself is really cute. I didn't show you guys the inside of it. It's blue on the inside. That's really cute. So one point for the bag. The eyeshadow. It looks good now, but. To me, it lacks luster, so I don't. I wouldn't give this eyeshadow any points. It's an okay shade for on the go if you guys want to just pop a shimmer on. But for me and my taste, it's not as intense enough even when I spray it. 
Next would be the Ofra blush. Now for the blush, I really liked. Um, it's a little subtle, but for my taste, I think it's just right. It isn't too pigmented. I don't feel like blushes should be that pigmented anyways, but this is a beautiful color. And kudos to Madison Miller for having a collab with Ofra. Ofra is an amazing brand. If you guys have not checked out their products before, please go ahead and try to check out their products. Their highlighter is magnificent. It's really smooth on the skin. So if you guys want to check out Ofra, check out their highlighters first and then kind of transition to this blush. This blush is really good. Next is this eyeliner. It's basically a basic eyeliner. Um, it worked pretty good. Um, it was pretty precise, but it's a felt tip liner. You can get felt tip liners anywhere. So it's an okay liner, but since it got the job done, I will give this a point. Next will be the Morad Moisturizer. Now this, I really like this moisturizer. It was very soft on my arm. It sunk into my arm really quick and it was very hydrating. It doesn't have a smell to it, so that should be good if you're gonna put it on your face. You wouldn't want your lotion to have a smell to it. So I like this. I'll give this a point as well. Now to the lipstick. I didn't like the lipstick. Um I think this is messy, it's already going down the tube, it's disgusting. I don't think I would wear this again, honestly, it might just go in the trash after this video. It's, I don't think this should have been in the bag at all. I just don't, I don't like it, I don't care for it. Yeah, it's pretty much trash. <laughs> Okay, so my final thoughts on the Ipsy Glam bag for the month of September. I think it was a pretty okay bag. We did get a couple of full size products in this bag. The bag itself is super cute. Um, I'm really into outer space themes. I love stars and all of that is so pretty. So I love the bag. The bag gets an A plus from me. The products on the inside was really good, except I said the lipstick and the eyeliner was okay. The eyeshadow really lacked luster for me. But overall, does this convince me to pay two more dollars for next month? It really doesn't. I will see, I might end up keeping this subscription, I'm not sure. But I think this is a pretty decent month. I will be getting the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus as well, which is a big box of five full-size products. So I will be reviewing that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll be notified the next time that I put up a brand new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.